Hello, Hello. welcome back to another Matt. episode of Chat GPT Campfire Stories, where we have Chat GPT right. generate stories for us. That don't make sense. Yeah, none at all. So, um, we're going to come up with the different characters this time. Um, I kind of want to do a horror story. Like horror story? Yeah. New characters or do we yeah, want to self-insert? Ooh. I, we're not, are we that lonely we're doing self-insert fan fiction? I mean, I kind of did one already, but that was yeah. my dream. That was, yeah, that was, that was a, a dream. No, that was an unintentional self-insert fan yeah. fiction because my brain subconsciously created it while I was sleeping, so I wasn't thinking for myself, really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically I was, but I was. it wasn't me. It was my It was my brain. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so we have... Uh... A guy with epilepsy who's in a <laughs> in a haunted house. Why <laughs> 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 just on these guys? <laughs> Fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He's dead already. <laughs> the lights are going crazy and he has to close them through the hallway. Oh, I go go. What else? What else? We need more. We need more. Uh, and his girlfriend who has Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, why is it all just special? <laughs> <coughs> and his dad who just likes to support his son's adventures. <laughs> He's just there. <laughs> He's just there to support his son. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, no. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> who has a bill? God. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm trying. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just thought of a guy with epilepsy <laughs> in a haunted house. Stuck in a house filled with ghosts. <laughs> like, flickering lights. Oh, the place. The piano is playing by itself. He has his girlfriend there with Tourette's syndrome. Uh, and his supportive dad, who is completely normal in the situation. In a house filled with ghosts. And... <laughs> no. <laughs> his imaginary girlfriend with Tourette's. <laughs> no. Let, 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 let her be real. Let her be and real. his girlfriend with Tourette's and... <laughs> oh, the twist ending will be that they're both fake. <laughs> they're both fake? Yeah. I don't know how to spell Tourette's in them. Um, I can see. Hang on. The, the like T O U R E T T E S. I'll see. Wait, what the f? Can this not fucking. Tourette's. Okay. It's T O U R. T O U R. Yeah. Okay. E T T E. Yeah, he spelled that right. Okay. And his dad, who is just observing the situation. Yeah. Just there to be supportive. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> just observing everything. And his dad, who is just observing him. Yeah. Just a supportive dude. Are we going to have the AI read this, or do you want to read it? We can see how the AI sounds. I'm just going to let it, like, load. Yeah. First, and then we'll... Can you do, like, a custom voice, so, like, it sounds like uh, an old oh, man oh, telling oh, us oh. a story? Because <laughs> I don't want, like, a robot telling us a story. It just takes the enthusiasm out of it, to be honest. I don't know. If you can't, then it's all good. We'll just hear what the AI has to sound like. 
<clears throat> I might only read it out. It's not doing it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, you might have to just read it then. You might only do it if you... So, wait. Well, let's copy and paste it and put it into Google Translate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But you have to give it the British <laughs> translated voice. <laughs> the British one? Yeah. Okay. Wait, how do I do that, though? Um, I don't know. Do you mean English? Oh, you're trying to figure out how you change the voice? On Google Translate. Oh, uh, it's, it's too many. It's too much text. Oh, for translate. Yeah. What the fuck. Yeah, there's a three thousand nine hundred character limit. Can you split it in half? Somehow. No, that'd be way too much work. Yeah. I think we just need Matt's amazing voice acting ability to. Okay. <laughs> My voice is really fucking tired right now. I just. That's so long. <laughs> I can read it. Huh? I mean, I can. No, I'll do it. Okay, the prompt. Write a horror story about a guy who has epilepsy stuck in a house filled with ghosts and his girlfriend with Tourette's syndrome. He's and stuck in there too. <laughs> and his dad, who is just observing everything. Alright. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading the first couple of stuff. It's very interesting. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't see that one until now. Alright, once upon a time, in a small town, there lived a young man named Alex. He suffered from el epilepsy, causing him to have frequent seizures. <laughs> Despite this, he maintained a positive outlook on life and was deeply in love with his girlfriend Emily, who happened to have Tourette syndrome. Together, they faced the challenges that their conditions brought, finding solace and support in each other. I wonder how this is going to be an inspirational story about a guy having a seizure in a fucking haunted house. <laughs> One day, Alex's father, John, a retired detective, received a mysterious call regarding a haunted house on the outskirts of town. Intrigued by the supernatural, Jean decided to investigate the, oh, investigate the claims himself. Little did he know, this decision would have dire consequences for his son, Alex, and Emily. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, not ending? <laughs> Jean arrived at the decrepit house. Its weathered facade hinted at a dark past, with cracked windows and peeling paint. As he let himself inside, the solemn chill ran down his spine. Shadows dancing danced on the walls, casting an airy atmosphere throughout the house. Meanwhile, Alex and Emily found themselves in a sticky situation due to a weather storm. Oh, due to a sudden storm, they sought refuge in the very same haunted house. Unbeknownst to them, their presence would awaken the restless souls trapped within its walls. As the storm raged outside, the house became alive with paranormal activity. Ghostly apparitions emerged from the depths of the shadows, <coughs> their hollow eyes fixated on Alex and Emily. Frightened and unable to escape the house, they clung to each other for support. With each passing minutes, the intensity grew. Emily, oh god, Emily's Tourette syndrome caused. I can't. I can't read this. This is not okay. It um, don't. It's not your fault. It's the yeah, AI it's fault. The AI fault. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Caused her to involuntarily blurt out words and screams, further provoking the spirits. Night fell, and the house echoed with their tormented cries and sinister laughter. The ghosts, fueled by anger and misery, sought to torment the inhabitants, unfortunate to cross their path. Alex was vulnerable due to his epilepsy, felt... Oh, who already vulnerable to his epilepsy, felt his senses distorted. The flashing lights, ghostly whispers, and special... F spectral 
failures, triggered the seizures, leaving him disoriented and helpless. Emily, though terrified, stood by his side, offering words of comfort amidst her own involuntarily outbursts. Meanwhile, John, observing from a hidden corner of the house, realized the true horror <coughs> his son and Emily faced. Their instincts forced him during his use as a detective, compelled him to act. Though hesitant to expose himself, he knew he couldn't stand idly while his loved ones <coughs> suffered. With a newfound determination, John began to investigate the history of the haunted house. He discovered that long ago, a sinister cult had conducted rituals within its walls, sacrificing innocent victims. And restless souls of those victims now sought revenge, forever bound to the cursed house. Armed with this knowledge, John formulated a plan. He gathered protective talismans and contacted an experienced exorcist. Together, they worked fervently to break the house, the house's curse and free Alex, Emily, and themselves from the crutches of malevolent spirits. <laughs> oh my god. Days turned into nights, and the battles against the supernatural grew fiercer. But through sheer willpower and one unwavering determination, they began to make progress. The exorcists performed rituals, banishing the ghosts one by one, while John protected Alex and Emily from harm. Finally, a dawn broke where the house stood silent and still. The ordeal was over. Alex and Alex and no, Alex, Emily, <coughs> and John emerged from the house, battered but alive. But the curse had been broken. And the spirits were finally at peace. Over time, the trio healed from their physical and emotional wounds. The bond between Alex and Emily grew stronger as they realized that their conditions could not define their love. And John, reflecting on their events, came to appreciate the unyielding strength of his son and his girlfriend. The haunted house stood as a reminder of the darkness <coughs> that they had faced. But they, for life, cherishing each... Wait... But they emerged with a newfound appreciation for life, cherishing each memory and supporting each other no matter the challenges that they were faced. And so, as the sun set on their harrowing experience, they vowed to move forward, eager to embrace a future filled with love, strength, and resilience. <laughs> That's a beautiful story right there. Damn. <laughs> What are your thoughts on that story? I think he, I think John is a bad father. He just watched the whole time. Yeah, he kind of just didn't do anything. Investigated. Yeah. Instead of know. being like, "Hey, son, let's get out of here and get you to a hospital," <laughs> you know, like. But instead, no, he wanted to fucking read up on the lore about this place, <laughs> and was like, "Okay, it's time to." defeat some ghosts i guess i don't know like is he fucking stupid <laughs> like is he okay i don't know I, I will say when you when they brought up when i brought up that there's a cold i already immediately had ideas for the next <laughs> oh yeah yeah okay shall we get into that yeah i was like what if a I was gonna have it be either, but I was like, what if a guy just, just smokes weed in one day and he's like, I wanna bring a woolly mammoth back to start a cult? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure, let's do it. Right. Just a random guy, he just smokes weed, like, let's bring back the woolly mammoth, I wanna start a cult. <laughs> <laughs> a, a high guy, and is it just him? It's just, I can't. Yeah, a guy. Does he have friends with him to help? <laughs> no. It's just him? <laughs> How's he bringing back the woolly mammoth alone? <laughs> He's single-handedly. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find <laughs> out. Yeah. yeah, we'll find out next episode. Alright, bye.